going on, everybody? Bobby Fi here for my five and five plays of the day. Don't forget, you can check out everything, my ownerships on everything, my plays, my bets of the day, as well as Sheets Sheets, which have been just absolutely destroying everything and crushing. And it's all uh, free for the first month at uh, TrueDFS.com. If you don't like it, get out of there after that. Otherwise, 35 bucks a month. Uh, we have an optimizer that we'll have in the next week that we're setting up with our G and uh, excited about that. But yeah, things moving along and uh, ready to get to my plays today. So lots of things to choose from today. There's a lot of pitching options. There's a lot of hitting options. I think that uh, I'm going to start off with Vlad for uh, Toronto. I know I pick him quite a bit for good reason. The guy's a monster and just crushes the ball. Uh, I love him in this matchup. I love the Toronto team against Mejia. I would prefer lefties in general against Mejia, but Mejia has been giving up about three home runs per nine since they made him a full-time starter. Vlad, we know, has the most power in the major leagues with the possible exception of uh, Shohei Otani. And uh, I think he makes for an awesome play tonight. So I will uh, be playing a lot of Vlad and a lot of Toronto stacks that I think are going to get a little bit lower ownership because of the prices of their players. And uh, it's going to be hard to fit them in, but there's a lot of value out there so we can we can get to all that. I'm not going to list my value plays here. They're all listed on the site, but I will talk about one guy in my next uh, part. Um, Lamont Wade has been crushing the ball when he's played. I know he's been out and assuming that he's in the lineup tonight, I absolutely love him against Zach Gallon, who's been getting really hard, hit hard by lefties. I think he's off the board. I think you could use him at first base. He's a way of spending down 3.5 K on DraftKings, And I think Lamont Wade makes, makes for an ex excellent home run upside play a little bit of stolen base upside as well. And uh, just a, Phenomenal play in all in all things. Uh, didn't get overlooked today on the way the slate shakes out. So really like Lamont Wade. Getting to another popular guy, I'm going to go with Joey Gallo. Uh, no shocker here. Matt Harvey gets hit really hard by lefties, although he hasn't given up a home run in, I believe it's five starts in a row. Hasn't been pitching all that well either, and sometimes hasn't lasted more than three innings. But he's not walking people as much, and he's not giving up home runs. I'll be using the Yankees more as three- and four-man stacks than five-man stacks today. But I love Gallo, Rizzo, Bryant. I'm sorry, Rizzo, uh, Judge, Stanton, you can include all these guys, but I think Gallo stands uh, as my most likely to the home run in that. So I will be playing Joey Gallo tonight against the low strikeout Harvey who gets crushed by lefties. So next one is going to be off the board because people aren't going to pay up for him. I'm even going to have trouble doing it because my stacks, like I mentioned, Toronto, pretty expensive. Um, actually affordable Colorado and uh, the Yankees also expensive. So I am... Uh, I'm going to say Juan Soto, though. I think that he's in an awesome spot and may get overlooked a little bit. You could say the same thing about Bryce Harper. They're just, just at their prices, people aren't going to play them as much because they're not stacking those two teams. I actually don't mind the Philly stack especially, but love Soto as a one-off. Um, been just absolutely crushing the ball since the All-Star break in general. The lineup sucks in general around him, but I think he's an excellent bet to take one deep tonight, maybe two, and one of my favorite plays as a GBP on this slate. Another guy I'm going to mention is uh, another value-ish one in the outfield. I don't want to, I didn't want to name too many outfielders, but I ended up just doing it anyway. Uh, you can, you know, use the outfield and your utility on FanDuel for the most part today. I think that's probably the way to go. But I'm going to say uh, Jorge Soler. I love, I love this matchup for the Braves against, uh, against, excuse me, um, Jay Happ. I think that there's really like Happ is close to done and, I think we can ex expect something similar to what we saw last night. Now I'm not saying they're going to score six runs in the first two innings, and then get shut out afterwards, but uh, hopefully the Braves can do a little bit better tonight. They are my fifth favorite stack on the slate. I don't know of how much of them I'm going to end up with because I'm not playing a ton of lineups, but I do think that they're a really solid mini stack at least. And I think Jorge Soler uh, coming to Atlanta, getting the bat again at the top of the order against a weak throwing lefty who doesn't strike anybody out. I think it's just a perfect spot for Soler to possibly take one deep, maybe even two. Um, anyway, those are my five favorites. Uh, I, my favorite stacks today, I uh, listed on the site, but uh, just as of right now, Yankees, Colorado, Dodgers, Toronto, nothing crazy there. I do have a little bit of interest in Atlanta and Philly if the ownership gets too high on the others. And I will be playing Scherzer and Gaussman um, quite a bit. They're my favorite two pitchers. So good luck to everybody. Check out TrueDFS.com true and let's crush it tonight. Good luck, y'all.